mtazamaji wetu ni wiki ngine nzuri tena wiki ya baraka ambayo Mungu ametujaria nataka kuamini ya kwamba Mungu amekupatia weekend nzuri na akakupatia uwezo wa kuvuka na ukaweza kuingia katika juma lingine na pia sisi nasi Bwana amekuwa mwema ametuhifadhi ametutenda mema na tuna kila sababu ya kumwambia ni asante naomba niweze kukukaribisha katika kipindi cha siku hii ya leo na ibada hii ya siku hii ya leo mahali ambapo tutaenda kububuja ama kubwaga roho zetu mbele zake Bwana ili aweze kutujenga pia tuweze kumrudishia shukrani kwa sababu ya wema wake pia tuweze kupata mkate wa uzima ambao ni neno la Bwana niweze kujenga mioyo yetu niweze kututia neema na nguvu za kuweza ku confront the issues of every other day we want to praise our God for such an opportunity to be in his presence so that he can work on us so that he can build our hearts he can strengthen us na kwa hivyo popote pale ulipo kiwa nyumbani kiwa na tazama kupitia simu ama jia zingine zote za mitandao naomba nikukaribishe sana 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 naitwa pastor Patrick Jao mimi ni mchungaji wa kanisa la Ebenezer Grace ministry tuko sehemu inaitwa Baraka Morem na tunawakaribisha sana 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 kwa neema ya Bwana tutawaelekeza katika program ya siku hii ya leo na katika ibada hii ya siku hii ya leo na tunashukuru sana ya kwamba umechagua kufungulia runinga yako ya IBN umechagua pia kuwa ukitazama najua kuna mahali kwingi unaezaenda na utazame vipindi zingine na ubarikiwe lakini for you choosing to sit there and to view whatever we are doing inaonyeshana ya kwamba unatupenda and you have trust katika ile kitu ambayo tunayafanya kwa sababu ya Mungu. Kwa hivyo tunakushukuru sana na tunakuomba uanze pamoja nasi na tuendelee pamoja mpaka kumalizia kipindi hiki and I want to promise you Bwana ataweza kukubariki na pia sisi tutaweza kubarikiwa ni kwa sababu yako. Basi naomba tuweze kufanya ombi tuanze ili tuweze kukabidhi mambo yote bila za Bwana. Mungu wetu na Bwana wetu wewe uishie milele hauna mwanzo na hauna mwisho akili zako ziko juu ya akili za wanadamu njia zako ziko juu ya njia za wanadamu na wewe ndiwe bwana ulituumba kwa kutupenda na kwa uwezo wako tunaishi siku na ingine ni kwa sababu ya mkono wako kuwa juu yetu bwana hatuhesabii makosa yetu vile inatufaa kwa sababu neno lako lasema ya kwamba wasababisha jua kuangaza kwa waovu na pia kwa wema unasababisha mvua yako kuweza kumwagika na kunyesha kwa waovu na pia kwa watakatifu ni asante ni kwa sababu ya huruma zako ambazo zimekuwa jipya katika maisha yetu kila siku siku hii umetuonea rehema siku ya leo umetuhurumia na ndipo sababu tunaishi na ndipo sababu tunaweza kusikia na ndipo sababu tunaweza kutembea wengine wetu na ndipo sababu bado kaburi haitajatumeza nasi tumetenga nafasi hii ewe bwana tumetenga wakati huu tunafungua roho zetu bwana wa bingu tukuletee ibada za shukurani. mimi pamoja na watazamaji wetu wote pamoja na wale ambao tuko hapa kwa hii ibada na wote ambao wanatutazama na kusikia sauti hii Bwana tunaleta maabudio yetu bere zako tunamimina roho zetu tuseme ni asante Mungu umerisha mioyo yetu umehifadhi mili yetu na magonjwa tulikusudiwa mabaya umetubeba na mkono wako umetuzuilia na magonjwa umetuzuilia na viki umetuzuilia na mikosi umetuzuilia Bwana na ajari za barabara hata kama kuna wengine wamejipata pale Mungu kama sio wewe wangemezo na zile hali umewatetea umewasaidia tunasimama katika mwanya kukushukuru bwana asante kwa sababu ya yote yule ambaye nasikia sauti hii ninashukuru ni kwa niaba yao bwana tunajikabidhi bere zako tunaomba ya kwamba ubariki familia ubariki wazee ubariki akina mama na vijana watu wote ambao wanasikiliza kipindi hiki asubuhi ya leo unajua mahitaji yao wengine wamevujika mioyo asubuhi hii ya leo ama jioni hii ya leo wengine wanapitia issues ambazo ni ngumu hakuna jambo haliweleweki mbele zako tunainua hali zote za watu wako siku hii ya leo mbele zako bwana katika jina la Yesu tunaomba ya kwamba 
you are going to refresh your people this morning you refresh their heart oh god refresh their spirit oh lord those who are faint those who are weak those who are troubled those who are heavy laden jesus we bring all our pardons unto you we surrender all things unto you, Lord. Thank you for taking us through the weekend. Thank you for this new Monday morning, this Monday evening. Oh, Lord. Tunajueka chini ya wingu lako. Tunajueka chini ya utawarako, Bwana. Tunaombea wiki hii. Iwe ni wiki ya baraka. Iwe ni wiki ya ushindi. Iwe ni wiki ya kufanikiwa. Iwe ni wiki ambao tutalidwa na Bwana. Kama vile tumeingia wiki hii Mungu wa bingu na enchi tunaomba utufunike na uvuli wako tufunike na mkono wako Bwana wabebe watu wako waongoze wasaidie mahitaji yote ya wiki hii Bwana wape mawazo mazuri wape hekima wape maarifa waongoze wote ambao wanakuomba siku ya leo basi tukiwa tu tumetulia hivyo I like you in a personal way, very personal way. Number one, you get to thank God for protecting you over the weekend, for taking care of your family. God loves it when his people appreciate him. Wakati unatambua kile mungu wanakufanya, wakati unatambua ya kwamba, siyo wema wako, siyo midi yako, siyo kujilida sana, tunatagamana na magali kila siku, tunabebo na magali tumezikirwa na waizi na wakora watu wabaya lakini Mungu hajazuilia tukue victims you can just tell God thank you hata kama umepitana na mikosi wikendi hiyo Mungu hajaruhusu uangamie every single one of us in a serious in a meaningful way you can just tell Jesus Christ thank you father i thank you thank you so much person i want to thank you i want to thank you for my life I thank you for opportunity to see another week. I bless your name. I bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Holy Spirit. Bless your name, Jesus. I have every reason. We thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank Asante kwa watoto wako. Mwambie ni asante kwa afya yako. Mwambie ni asante. Mwambie ni asante. Mwambie ni asante. Let us start with Jesus. 
sababu ya mengi na mazuri ambayo umetutendea I would like to encourage you my brother and my sister ya kwamba have a habit of appreciating God Once you thank God it's a way of acknowledging njia ya kutambua kile amekutendea At the same time thanksgiving opens small doors Wakati umeshukuru Mungu inakuwa ni kifunguo ya kubarikiwa zaidi na kutendewa sana God loves a grateful heart whatever he has done I usually tell people while kuponywa ni muujiza kukaa bila kugojeka is a bigger miracle Narudia tena while being healed miraculously is a miracle is a great, is a great thing staying without being sick Mungu kukuzuia na magonjwa na attacks is a greater miracle kwa sababu hakukubali fence yako hakukubali defense yako he protected you he restrained the forces of the devil there are millions of evil forces and powers and haters evil eyes that target you and that wish you bad lakini Mungu amezuia hiyo yote so it's always good uwe na moyo wa gratitude for your life for your children for those close to you for your family members for your country and for everything else 
We want to shift gears and we pray for the week. Nigetaka to Ongozu in Revelation chapter 22. This is the last chapter of the Bible. Na Yesu lisema haya maneno verse 16. Revelation chapter 22 verse 16. Jesus said, I Jesus have sent my angel to testify to you about these things for the churches. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. Jesus Christ hapa maneno yake ya mwisho mwisho kabisa ambayo alifunulia Yohana ambaye alikuwa ni mwanafunzi wake katika kitabu hiki cha ufunuo alisema mambo yote ambayo yako hapa ambayo yameandikwa in the book of revelation kasema ni mimi mwenyewe ambaye nilituma malaika wangu aweze kuyafunua na kuna na maneno very strong ambayo Yesu alisema na ningetamani yatuelekeze wiki hii hata wakati tunaenda kufanya intercession because of the week Yesu baada ya kusema ya kwamba he is the root of and the descendant yeye ndiye mzizi wa Daudi yeye ni he is a descendant yeye ni offspring yeye ni wauzao wa Daudi jambo la muhimu hapa ningetaka to focus ni vile alijiita the bright morning star nyota ya asubuhi huleta mabadiliko sana sijui kama ushaikuwa kwa usiku ambao is a long night either because you are sick ama unaumwa na jino ama kuna mambo mabaya yamekupata usiku huo umepata bad news na unapata the night is so gloomy inakuwa very long paka unaanza ku desire the morning Yesu anasema ya kwamba mimi ndiye nyota ya alfajiri na sio tu nyota ni nyota inayongara najua sasa hivi na wiki hii vile tumeanza there are people who are saying i can see only darkness ahead of me kuna watu wameanza wiki hii wakiwa katika giza lililowafunika wengine wana baridi ya maisha wengine wamegongo na mambo tofauti they feel disoriented they feel cold they feel low they feel heavy. They feel they are in darkness. They are in the midst of confusion. They in gloom, light. I mean darkness. They are wallowing in darkness. Brother and sister, I want to believe. Maneno haya ambayo Yesu Kristo alikuwa anasema sio kuongea kuhusu ile nyota tu ya asubuhi tunaionanga imewaka. Lakini alitamani kusema ya kwamba in the midst of darkness, asubuhi na kuanga kabla giza kabla asubuhi fiki na kuanga the darkest na masaa yale ya alfajiri kama saa nane na nusu saa tisa ndio masaa ambayo na kuanga very grume masaa ambayo yanaleta kuogofia kwingi masaa ambayo kuna 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 baridi na kuna giza naye Yesu anasema ya kwamba wakati huo mimi ndiye nyota ya alfajiri mimi ndiye mwangaza I am the source of light when it is very dark. I am the source of light when it is so gloomy. I am the source of light when you feel down. My brother and my sister, we wanna tazama na kusikiliza sauti hii. Listen to this word of God. Amid this what you are passing through this beautiful morning, I want to point you to Jesus. Yeye ambaye amesema ndiye nyota ya alfajiri atareta nuru atapabazukia hayo maisha yako hiyo baridi itaondoka and we want to call upon him this beautiful morning na tumuite huyu nyota ya alfajiri tuweze kumwengage na tumwambie bwana si wewe umeniambia ati wewe ni nyota ya asubuhi umeniambia you are the bright morning star i pray jesus christ hili giza liweze kuondoka giza la ugonjwa nimechoka Nimefunikwa na uovu, nimefunikwa na mambo mazito. We are going to call upon this bright morning star this beautiful morning. As we proceed with our devotions, as you pray for the week, abia bwana kumulikia wiki hii. Hata pasipo kuiba wibo wote, if you are there and maybe you have things that has been pressing you. Is a good moment that we want to give to all of us 
mention some issues mention your issues before the Lord tell the Lord Jesus Christ to guide you this week tell him to shine to illuminate your path to shine your way usijo kajikwa wiki hii engage him in prayer na umwambie bwana naomba unimulikie naomba unimulikie maisha yangu so wherever you are take some moment pray for your life this week pray for your affairs pray for the cause of this week pray for all the activities that you're going to do this week mwambie wewe urie nyota ya asubuhi naomba unimulikie bwana mulikia maisha yangu bwana yesu Naomba kumulikiwa na wewe Simba wa Yuda. Naomba unimulikie katika roho yangu. Naomba umulikie maisha yangu Bwana. Naomba umulikie familia yangu. Wewe ndiwe taa ya roho zetu. Wewe ndiwe taa ya familia zetu. Wewe ndiwe taa ya biashara zetu. Wewe ndiwe taa ya hatua zetu. We call upon you Jesus. Tunakuita Bwana. Bwana naomba huyo mama ambaye anakuita ambaye anapitia kwenye giza wewe niwe taa wewe niwe nyota ya asubuhi Bwana Yesu abebe Bwana Yesu asaidie Bwana Yesu aelekeze tunaomba wiki njema tunaomba wiki ya baraka tunaomba wiki ya ushindi tunaomba kumurikiwa na wewe Bwana tunaomba kuelekezwa wale wanaenda hospitali asubuhi ya leo wale wanaenda hospitali wiki hii nyota ya alfajiri mweze kuamulikia wale ambao ni wagonjwa nyota ya alfajiri niweze kuangazia wale ambao biashara zao zimekwama nyota ya asubuhi niweze kuapabozukia bwana yesu tunaomba neema bwana yesu tunaomba kibari bwana yesu tunaomba Naomba kuelekezwa in the name of Jesus. Naomba mtazamaji mpenzi nataka uinue hiyo hoja kwa imani Mungu wako pale huko anakuona na kuelewa sisi wote tuende mbele zake na tuunganishe imani yetu tukiombea our week na mahitaji ya wiki hii baba wetu wewe unayepeleleza na kuchunguza mioyo ya wanadamu hakuna mtu ambaye ako nyuma yako ya kwamba wewe haumuoni sisi wote ni wanao na tunakuita baba na tuko mbele ya uso wako umetuambia turete maombi na mahitaji yetu mbele zako Umesema ya kwamba tukibisho milango utafungua. Umesema ya kwamba tukikuita utatuitika. Umesema tukitafuta tutapata. Asubuhi ya leo ama jioni hii neno lako limenena na mioyo yetu ya kwamba ewe Bwana Yesu wewe ndio ulitumana tuambiwe ukweli ulio katika kitabu cha ufunuo. Na ukasema ya kwamba wewe ndio mzizi wa Daudi. Ukasema ya kwamba wewe ni mfalme. Ukasema ya kwamba wewe diwe nyota ya asubuhi. Wewe diwe nyota ya alfajili. Naombea wapendo wa watu wote ambao wanasikiliza sauti hii na nawaeweka mbele zako kwa jina lako takatifu Bwana Yesu. Unajua mahitaji yao. Wengine wanapitia giza kubwa. Wengine wamefunikwa na magonjwa. Wengine wiki hii ndio mbele wanaenda hospitali. Bwana Yesu naomba uwapambazukie. Naomba uwapambazukie. Nyota ya alfajiri, tunaomba miali yako ya uponyaji iweze kuwaka na kuleta Bwana uponyaji. Mahali giza limeingia. Tunaomba the rays of healing. 
hiari ya uponyaji kutoka kwa konyota ya alfajiri iweze kuleta uponyaji tunaomba hiari ya uponyaji kwa biashara biashara ambazo zimekwama watu wako wamesubuka wamejaribu kukopa maloans wamejaribu kutafuta pesa na ni kama wamelemewa yota ya alfajiri tunakuita asubuhi ya leo hakuna jambo usiloliweza mfalme weza kuangazia wasaidie na wape neema bwana biashara za watu wako zikuamuke wale ambao wameinukiwa wale ambao wanapitia vita kazini wale ambao wametishwa na kufutwa kazi wale ambao wamefunikwa na dhambi na mambo tofauti yaliyofunika watu wako tunainua imani yetu mbele zako bwana yesu tunaomba miali yako iweze kuangazia watu wako wakumbuke watoto wadogo bwana wengine hawana uwezo hata wa kuongea wengine ni kulia tu na wana mambo yanawasumbua wengine ni wagonjwa wengine wana shida they have conditions jesus we pray for them tunaombea jamii ambazo bwana zimefunikwa na giza zingine ziko katika break ya ya kuvujika shikiria hiyo jamii shikiria huyo mzee shikiria huyo mama Shikiria watu wako bwana mambo yote ambayo tuko nayo wiki hii unayajua tuongoze na utuelekeze kwa jina la Yesu tuseme amen amen i will allow the praise team they allow us to do some worship and then it will Jesus we give you praise glory and honor for this not like you you got time and seasons in your hands thank you lord you call for light out of darkness you don't need a man to be the god you have chosen to call me your son you got times and seasons in your head oh you called for light out of darkness you got you don't need anyone the god you are but in your mercies you god as your own lift your voice call him is god alone say you are god from beginning to the end there's no praise for hang your bed you are god all by yourself
Takatifu, ta 
Watazamaji wote mnao tutazama Bwana Yesu awatende mema huyu ambaye tumemwibia na kumuita mtakatifu mtakatifu kwa hakika hata wiki hii atabaki kuwa mtakatifu katika maisha yako na giza lote ambalo linaweza kuwa limekufunika kwa njia yote ile I want to encourage you through the word of God ya kwamba Mungu hubadilisha majira giza haikai milele Mungu atakubadilishia majira na utaweza kukutana na nuru yake. Asubuhi ya leo ningetaka tufungue masikio yetu na pia tufungue roho zetu turuhusu Mungu aweze kuzungumza na mioyo yetu kupitia neno lake. Neno la Mungu likiingia katika mioyo yetu huwa linaondoa giza, linaondoa hofu, linaondoa confusion, linatupatia direction na kwa hivyo is always good we eat the word of god kama vile mwanadamu hawezi kaa bila kukula chakula cha kawaida vile vile your spirit and your soul needs constant feeding of the word of god it is called the bread of life neno hili ni uzima maneno haya wakati yameingia katika moyo wako they start up your soul they give strength to your heart ukiwa faint ukiwa uko chini ukiwa hauna direction and you allow the word of god to enter into your heart this bread of life inaweza kukusaidia inakuelekeza na inaweza kukupatia direction siku hii ya leo tunataka kuongea kuhusu where to get light when it is too dark where to get light when it is too dark najua tukisema tutapata nuru wapi wakati kuna giza hakuna mtu ambaye kwa njia moja ama jingine hajajua giza ni nini Giza Mungu amehakikisha ya kwamba katika the 24 hours ambazo tuko nazo kuna masaa kama kumi na mawili hivi ambayo Mungu ameyagawa na kwetu sisi ambao tunaishi along the equator tunapata ya kwamba kuanzia 6 giza inaanza kuingia mpaka siku hii ingine wakati takuwa ni saa kumi na bili asubuhi. Kwa hivyo siku zetu huwa zimegawa kuna wakati mzuri wa mchana kuna mwangaza hatimaye giza linaanza kuingia. Kwa hivyo giza hakuna mtu hajui giza na ni vizuri kujiandaa utakfanya namna gani wakati giza litaingia. Kwa maana tumesema we want to look at where to get light when it is too dark. Wakati giza imeingia ni vizuri ujiulize kwa sababu giza itaingia nitafanya nini. Na unaka saa zingine stima zikipotea labda tuseme kama kuna siku mbili ambazo hakuta kuwa na stima watu wa wanajipanga kwa sababu wanajua giza litaingia basi tukiondokea katika giza la kawaida ambalo huja kila siku ni vizuri tujue in our lives at times huwa tunapitia vipindi ama majira yaliyo na giza sana na wakati kumetokea giza people react to darkness kwa njia tofauti kuna wengine wanakuwa confused kuna wengine wanakuwa na hofu nyingi kuna wengine wanaamua kulala kuna wengine wanaamua ku despair giza sio nzuri na watu wengi hawajazoea giza lakini kwa sababu giza litakuja ni vizuri tujipange mbele na ujiulize when it is dark what am i supposed to do this reminds me uh, our first born daughter wakati alikuanga mdogo alikuwa na shida ya giza tena sana kwa sababu akiwa mtoto tulikuwa kuna mahali pale kwa ile room yake alikuwa na lala lakini kama stima zigezimwa hata akiwa uzingizi mzito i don't know how she used to sense lakini angeamuka na kwa hivyo basi ilikuwa inatubidi kwa sababu hatutaki stima iwake the whole night tunahakisha ile torch ya kuchange ili akiangalia naona kuna kuna mwangaza lakini vile iliendelea ikizima 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 mahali tu itazimia tu hivi Sijua alikuwa na sense namna gani anaona kuna giza na anaamka. Kwa hivyo tunaona ya kwamba giza haipendi hata mtoto mdogo hata watu hawapendi giza lakini giza tuko nayo every day. Kwa siku yako lazima kuna masaa yatakuwa giza. So ni vizuri tujiulize wakati tutapata giza la maisha tuta react namna gani and how are we supposed to do or to kujipanga tunafaa kujipanga namna gani. I wonder how many people enjoys darkness and when they enjoy darkness. 
Many people fear darkness and only want it when they are doing things that they don't want to be exposed. Na pia tunaona ya kwamba absence of light he does a lot of things and intends progress. Wakati kuna giza progress ama mambo mengi yanashindwa kuendelea. Na diposa unaona watu wengi kukitokea giza usiku. They go to sleep. Giza sio mzuri. Na watu wengi wakati wamepitia giza la maisha, mipango yao na mambo yao mazuri ambayo yalikuwa yanaendelea yanakwama. And that's why we need to know how or what do I do when darkness strikes my life. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 7 says, Truly the light is sweet and it is pleasant for the eyes to behold the sun. Light is good. Light is pleasant and it is sweet. It is pleasant for the eyes to behold the sun. We all need light. But when darkness comes, what do we do? Apart from physical light, we all need the light of life whereby our course of life is illuminated rest we stumble and fall wakati hizo limeingia la maisha na wewe ukwe hujajipanga na hujakuwa na njia ya kuojua kile unafaa kufanya katika maisha watu wengi huanguka tuna watu walisimama vizuri walienda vizuri kanisani walifanya biashara walikuwa na familia lakini something dark strike your life your life ikawa put off the balance na kwa sababu hawakujua ni nini tawamulikia hawakujua how to get light ya maisha maisha yao yakaanguka they stumbled na tunaona James chapter 3 verse 2 says for we all stumble in many things we all do stumble in many things na kaendelea kusema if anyone does not stumble in word he is a perfect man able also to blend the whole body kwa sisi wote kwa njia moja ama nyingine huwa tunajipata tumekwazwa na mambo darkness itaingia na darkness haingii kwa mtu mmoja kwa rais jioni ya leo kutakuwa na giza kwa masikini jioni ya leo itakuwa na giza we all stumble sisi wote tunapatana na giza in one way or another lakini tunajiuliza what do you do when that darkness strikes john chapter 11 verse 10 says but if one walks in the night he stumbles because the light is not in him we are living in a world full of darkness whereby people are stumbling and falling in their marriages in their careers in their investments relationships business decisions matters of faith and religion and in every other part of our lives people are falling and they are they are stumbling and they are wondering what do i do they seek light we all want to know what can i do to succeed they need some light who is the best life partner what is the best job or career for me to pursue which is the best religion for me to follow is it islam is it christianity is it buddhism is it hinduism traditionalism atheists even some suggest no religion even in christianity tunaona ya kwamba people ask themselves which church is the best people need light they need direction na wakikosa kuelewa if they miss the light when they are making these decisions they stumble and they fall we all agree that we need light in our lives to keep us from stumbling darkness simply means lack of light some still are in darkness as we talk they are in darkness of their lives and are full of fear and wondering how to get out of that darkness as we talk kuna watu ambao wanapitia katika giza some out of their bad choices while some unknowingly have found themselves struggling and wallowing in deep darkness there are different things ambazo zimetupata zimetufanya tuingie kwa giza wengine ni decisions ambazo walifanya ama wengine knowing ile walijipata ya kwamba they are in middle of nowhere in their lives and they are facing confusion there are some people who are facing incurable diseases as they are termed by men some with very long ailments and sicknesses which are a big darkness some are facing protruded back i mean coat battles ambazo zimekuwa ni kama giza la maisha yao wengine wana bad debts wana madeni ambao wameshindwa kulipa 
Some are in business crisis, family crisis. Some are in, in addictions and bad habits. They are in full darkness. Wengine wako in darkness katika they are walking God, with God. Whereby they used to be holy, they used to be righteous, walitembelea vizuri. But at this moment, they are full of darkness in their lives. Amidst all the above, where are you? Give, uh, amidst all of the above, sorry, there are some who are at crossroad wandering the right way, or wallowing in darkness, or even leading normal lives. But we can agree that we all of us need light. Ili to see where they stumble. Your life and my and my life is a unique course that is taking a unique route from everyone else. You and I have never walked the path of life that we are walking today again. If you are craving a mountain and you are not familiar with the route, you need a guide or else you get lost or follow the wrong way which can be disastrous. We have seen people get lost and even die. Wakati wamepitia jiambaya wakipanda milima. Kwa hivyo tunasema maisha ambao tunaishi ni maisha ya kwanza. Haujaishi tena. And you don't need Troy and Ella. Hauta tembelea maisha haya uone via yako tena upewe mengine na mungu. The life you are living today is the original life. Na kama vile tu tunaona wale wanapanda milima. Ukienda kupanda milima. Labda Mount Kenya, Mount Logono, I mean Mount Kenya ama Mount Kilimanjaro, big mountains. Na ukosa kufuata the trail, ile inafaa. Kama haujui unaenda upotee. Wengine wamepotelea huko, wengine wamekuliwa na wanyama. So the life or your life and my life are the same. We need a guide. We need some light. We need direction. What do we do with our course of life? God has given all of us remedies on where to get this light. We are going to look at the Bible na tuangalie three areas ambapo tunaweza pata light of our lives ambayo inaweza kukumulikia na kukutoa kwa giza ambayo unaweza kuwa uko ndani yake ama ikuzuilie kupotea katika course na katika trail hii ya maisha number one, god has given us his word the bible has every answer we need to our lives on every subject kuna acronyms ambazo wengine wanajaribu ku define the bible sisemi inafai kwa hivyo but they say the word bible has b some people say it's basic I means it is instructions B before a living earth Bible basic instructions before living earth Kwa hivyo itamaanisha kwamba God has given us his word it has every remedy and all that we need for our lives every answer in every subject Believe the family relationships business they are all contained in this black book called the Bible. Psalm 119 verse 105. The psalmist is, says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and light to my path. The Bible, the word of God is a lamp to my feet and light to my path. Psalm 19 verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandments of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Verse 9. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and drippings of honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant to warn in keeping them there is great reward in keeping the word of God there is great reward and through these sweet drippings of the word of God we are warned Psalm 119 verse 98 says 
Your commandment makes me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. Verse 100. I understand more than the aged, for I keep your precepts. Psalm 119 verse 1 that says, The unfolding of your word gives, gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. How powerful is the word of God? Psalm 119 verse 9. How can a young man keep his ways pure is by guarding it according to your word? Psalm 119 verse 24. Your testimonies are my delight. They are my counselors. The word of God is our counselor. is our teacher. It illuminates our paths. The entrance of God's word gives light. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Paul said this to Philippians. Finally brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, which means honorable, whatever things are just, which means right, correct, Whatever things are pure, which means free from any pollutants. Whatever things are lovely, which means very nice or wonderful. Whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, virtue means good morals or conduct. And if there is anything praiseworth, meditate. Meditation means keep your mind fixed upon or consider or reflect them. Meditate on these things. Second Timothy 3, 16. All scriptures breathed out of God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training righteousness, that the man of God may be competent, equipped for every good work. Brother and sister, spare time with God's truth. It takes away life's fog and mist. Spare time reading and studying the word of God. It will take away the mist and the fog of life. If we believe the truth about the Bible, the scripture, they lead us to the second source of light for all our lives. The second source of light for our lives is Jesus Christ. The Bible points Jesus Christ as the light. When man first sinned at the garden of Eden, he fell from the light of God to the gloom darkness of the devil. Ever since man together with all his generations who have been born in this world have been wallowing in groom darkness. Devil has always taken the advantage of this man's blindness to mislead him further. Romans chapter 3 23 says for all have seen and have fallen short of the glory of God. We fell short when we sin. However, the good news is that God in his mercy at the appointed time he sent his light from heaven to illuminate the world. As we are going to see in Romans chapter 5 verse 5. Such hope never disappoints or deludes or shames us for God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us where we were yet in weakness. That means we are powerless to help ourselves. At the fitting time, Christ died for the ungodly. Jesus himself affirms to be the light of the world in John chapter 8 verses 12. He says, again Jesus spoke to them. Them here were crowned saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. 1 John chapter 5 verse 12 the Bible says He who has the Son has the life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God that you may know that ye have eternal life and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Believing in Him is walking out of darkness and walking in the light of life. To all who believe in Jesus, he further pointed to them on how to get more light 
and guidance for our life's journey. The greatest way to get light for our lives is receiving Jesus. But Father Jesus Christ pointed to the third source of light to all those who believe him. And the third source of light is the Holy Spirit. John chapter 16 verses 13. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak of his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will declare to you the things that are to come. Isaiah, as I finish, chapter 30 verse 21. Your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right hand and whenever you turn to the left, the Spirit of God is the guide for believers. Once we allow Him, we can receive Jesus. He gives us another help who illuminates our path and gives us rema wand of the time. You will hear a voice speaking to you and showing you the way. Holy Spirit is our guide in this dark world. In conclusion, you need regular communication and consultation from God's word and fellowship with Jesus through prayers. The word of God, Jesus, and also the spirit. You need to spend time in God's word. Number two, if yesterday you were lost, that was yesterday, leave it. If yesterday you were on track, know that you have never lived tomorrow. Hence, we all need we all need regular daily dependence on God. Prayer, pray, seek God's guidance for your day-to-day -day life. Number three, be ready to obey whatever God leads you to do now. Do not postpone. God leads us to the next step after obeying the first step. If you haven't received Jesus Christ, that is the most important decision you can make. Our heart light, Jesus Christ gives our heart light and he's the light of life. Our lives get illuminated when we receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Brother and sister, Jesus is the light of the world. The scripture, the word of God is the light as well. And finally the Holy Spirit of God who Jesus gives to all those who receive him. He illuminates our paths. Father in the name of Jesus thank you for every brother and sister who have heard this word. The entrance of your word gives light. I pray that you will broaden this understanding to their hearts. That they may acknowledge the leading of your scriptures. The guidance by Jesus and by the Holy Spirit. In this we pray in faith. Say amen. Amen. Whereby how John Pokea Yesu. Pokea Yesu siku ya leo. Akuokoe na akubadilishe. Mwambie bwana Yesu. Na kukalibisha kwa moyo wangu. Unisamehe na unitakazi. Leo ni meokoka na nitakufuata. Thank you so much. God bless you. Tuonane siku ya kesho. Na mungu waweza kuwateda mema. Wewe ambayo getamani pia kuwa baraka kwetu. There is an impesa number. Unaweza kutubariki na yuwa sadaka yako na yuwa support. Nilea kutuombea vile tunayendelea kukuombea. Keep saving the presence of God even as you meditate to those truths. Bwana kutoe kwa giza na kuelekeze kwa jia zake. God bless you. Amen.